And uh, transfer protocol. So what does Redis use as its transport protocol? And it uses beautiful TCP. It's a very low level raw TCP, all right? And that's a choice, that's a bold choice. I kind of have my uh, opinions about that, but we'll talk about that. So it uses, it uses TCP, which is the transport con control protocol. It's very low level. Pretty much all databases uses TCP. I don't know what database vendors have against HTTP, right? I don't know. I want to see a database that works purely on HTTP, a request response database, web database that works on HTTP. What's wrong with that? I don't know. Make You get security for free. You get TLS for free. You get HTTP 2. Don't, you don't have to support 1.0 or 1.1. Support on 2.0 or 3, right? Or quick, for God's sake. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm missing something, right? I don't know. I'm mean, I'm no expert, but that's what it, to me. It's we're in desperate need of a database that runs on a web server. The database is the web server. Please, someone design this for us. All right, so it uses DCP. Oh, okay, out of the question again. Sorry, <laughs> it's a request response model, just like HTTP, which is kind of good, right? But here's the thing, right? So it's, it's a request response model. So you make a request. It's a synchronous kind of a request. And you wait for a result. And you say, hey, give me that key. Delete that key. Update that key. And you get the result back. So always the client initiate the request. There is one case where this becomes a posh model. And we're going to talk about that. Okay. Message format. They have their own fancy message format, which is... That's the first time I heard about this. It's called RESP, which is Redis Serialization Protocol, right? I don't know why it's called protocol. Right? It's, it's a message format, okay? To me, it's just a message format. But yeah, the message format is some binary stuff, right? So I don't, I don't like that one bit, right? It's just like, in my opinion, we should have gone standard, right? We should have used some standard. At least they use some standard and documented that, which is good, unlike other databases, which they don't even tell you what's the protocol they're using. They just, they're all custom and they're all hidden. Yeah, I don't believe MongoDB advertises their underlying protocol. So they did, they did kind of something good, right? They did, right. I wish they used like protocol buffers. I don't know if they can though. It's just schema based. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not. It's not so possible. But yeah, it's just yeah. So it's their own protocol, fancy serialization protocol. Yeah, yeah. There might be a limitation that I'm not aware of. Again, guys, yell at me in the comment section if. You find